Hello everybody, this is Squidders Nas and it's day 6 of Inktober. Today's theme is sword, so I had the idea to draw like um, a medieval knight holding a sword. Um, it's a very symmetrical composition and it's not exactly steampunk. Well actually it's not steampunk at all, it's more medieval but I don't know. It's still made of metal and it's the only thing I could come up with to be honest. So, I mean, I think this idea is a lot less original than the other ones. Um, and. I, I definitely enjoyed drawing it, but I think I could have pushed myself a little bit more with the idea because it's fairly simple. Um, but before I talk about my process, I was having a look at um, YouTube analytics the other day, and I think it's a really cool cool feature because it's really interesting looking at the numbers and the geographies behind, like behind who who watches your videos and how they they watch your videos, and it can be really helpful. And one thing I found was. I mean, Inktober has really caused a lot of my views to go up really high because, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this this pop popular, definitely, but one thing which interested me was, like, um, the average watch time is really low, like, on average people only watch, like, 10% of, of my videos, and I think I know why that is, and it's because my narrations are pretty boring, <laughs> like, even I'm bored of them, and I know I stutter a lot. Actually, my favourite YouTube videos are the ones where, um, like, YouTube art videos are the ones where people talk about their advice and their experiences in art, and, like, um, I like when they give advice on how to make money from art, how to find your style, you know, that sort of thing. I just find, like, I know a lot of artists do this, but it's different coming from every artist, and I think it's really interesting. But the thing is, as much as I'd really like to do this, I... I mean, because I'm still quite young, like, I'm 14, and inexperienced in art, I don't really feel valid giving advice to people, so that's why I'm not going to be doing that for, for a while. So, I mean, I guess I'm almost using this as, like, a personal diary of my thoughts on each artwork that I create, and, I mean, it's really nice hearing from other people about what, what, they, what they think of it as well, so that's an added bonus. But anyway, that was a random side tangent. Um, I started by drawing it in in pencil, which I didn't film this time, because I'm really bad at anatomy. Like, I can't, like, I've been trying to learn how to draw people better, but especially, like, I mean, I had a handful of references for the knight's armor, just because I haven't, I don't do that very often, but, yeah, it didn't work too well. So it took me a lot of tries to get it looking kind of like a human being. So that's why I didn't film the pencil, and... I've recently got a couple new pens. They're the Unipin brand, and I really like them because I have they have a very solid dark line. So I did the inking with a 0.3 and a 0.1, and the 0.3 is a bit thicker than I'm used to for 0.3s. I guess different brands. I mean, there's it's it's supposedly 0.3 of a millimeter, but I guess different brands sort of have different measurements anyway because the ink like spreads in different ways. So anyway, um. I used the 0.3 mainly for the outlines of segments and the 0.1 for details. And I didn't really detail that much because I just couldn't figure out how to put them into so fit. So I have been experimenting with patterns recently, but none of them really worked on the armor, I don't think. So I kind of just kept it pretty simple. I used some like zigzagging patterns on the edges though. And then I haven't done it yet, but later on in the video you'll see me adding in a really solid duck dark background behind the knight in that arch and I used this really cool cross hatching te technique which I like a lot but for that I used my um, Artline 0.6 pen which is definitely not 0.6 of a millimetre it's like probably 2 or 3 millimetres but there you go. Now thoughts on this artwork? I think this is not one of my favourites so far out of the Inktober challenge, like it was fun to do but it's just, I didn't think the idea was that original and a lot of people say that if you want to be an artist practice your technique first. I actually believe the contrary, I mean it's very important to practice your technique but your technique is, uh, it's a means of communicating your idea and in my opinion the idea is actually more important than and the creativity behind it is it's more important than having masterful pencil strokes and stuff. But I mean, of course not everybody would share the same view as me and I mean 
I've met other people who have amazing technique and because they spent years practicing it. So I mean, I guess it's personal preference, but personally like I try and have as original idea as I can and that's what I like so much about art because it's like, it puts so much wonder in, into the world I guess. Um, so the other thing I didn't like so much was the lack of detail. As I said before, I tried to put in patterns but it didn't really fit, but I mean part of the character of like using pens is you can put in a lot of detail because they're really fine and controlled. And I don't feel like I fully used that 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 quality in this artwork. Some things I did like about it though, um, I love the way I, I do backgrounds with um, the outline pen. Like you can't really see it in the video but it's got a really interesting texture so basically I just do a few strokes so that they're next to each other and then I do them for in the opposite direction and it kind of creates this almost woven pattern and I, I, I really like it. <laughs> Sorry I'm going on, a, on about it too much but I think the black background ties it together and it's a really symmetrical composition so it really works for the setting because it's quite still. I mean if it was a more dynamic thing you wouldn't, you definitely wouldn't want it to be this symmetrical but as it is it looks quite good um so that brings us almost to the end of the video thanks very very much for watching tomorrow's prompt will be shy and um if you liked the, if you liked the video don't forget to um comment and and subscribe and if you want to support me i've i do have a, a patreon page as well so thanks for Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.